here, uh, I am getting a vibe that there's definitely active, very a lot of activity in this section here. You could go see here. And one thing is for sure about these cemeteries is that there are occult activities that go on at, at nighttime. I'm an occultist, uh, but there's a form of what we call a necromancy, and it's a broad spectrum of some type of a type of magic. It's a broad spectrum, um, and it's light necromancy to heavy necromancy, but necromancy is using uh, the spirits to do your bidding. Um, and it does go on here in Connecticut. As a matter of fact, there is a big community, uh, urban community all around that does like uh, stuff like that. Um, and it's necromancy is a broad, broad term. I mean, it's it's a broad spectrum. I mean, it's actually pretty easy to do. I mean, there's a light form where you could even go with a pendulum to one of the graves and ask it, "Could you get me a thousand dollars if I reward you in the next uh, three or four weeks?" And if it says yes, then you ask it, "What would you like as a reward?" And a lot of them like water. And stuff like that. I mean, it's not really a path I really go down usually, but I mean, I've dabbled that way. Um, and then when they do the task for you, you give them uh, their reward. But that does happen in these cemeteries. I, as a psychic and a magical practitioner, there is definitely a vibe here of some dark, darker occult uh, stuff. In those woods over there, though, it was pretty enchanting, to be honest, over there. But anyway, we're at the Green Lady Cemetery. I'm a psychic medium. Um, I talk to the afterlife. I do house calls. If you're interested in that, drop me a message. Thank you very much.